we derived we derive the equation of lines. Uh, suppose there's a line passing through P0, that is x0, y0, z0. And uh, uh, it's parallel to a vector like V. Line passing through P0, X0, Y0, and Z0. And uh, uh, parallel, parallel to V. If the, the V is A, B, C. Assume the line is passing through the P0 and uh, parallel to the V. Now, uh, from this information, we deduce the equation, uh, we derive the equation of this line. And any, any point on, uh, in, the, uh, in the line that we call x, y, z, we call this point P. These two points, the P and the P0, determine a vector. This vector P0, P should be T times V because they are, they are parallel. So they just uh, uh, has portion. Uh, that's, that's maybe P0 and P is just a, a scalar product of V. And P0, P, this vector this this vector can be write as can be write as O P. The O is origin. If this point is a origin in the three D uh, coordinates, minus O P zero. If we call the OP, OP is for any x, y, z, so we call OP, if we write OP as a vector function, uh, uh, depend, depend, depends on t, because different t, uh, we, uh, different t and determine a different point. And, uh, O P zero we write as R zero. Then uh, the because O P is the point of the of the line is the point of uh, is point of the line. So we got the equation that is R T equals R zero plus T V. That's the vector form. Vector form of the line. Or we call this the point direction form. We we have this point P0 and the direction is V. V sometimes we call we call V uh, is a direction vector of the line. And uh, now RT, RT is actually, we can write as, that's XT, YT, ZT. This vector form can be write as uh, in coordinates. In coordinates, that is X0, Y0, Z0, uh, plus T times A, B, C. Uh, right in the coordinate, that, that is x equals x0 plus a t, y is y0 plus b t, z is z0 plus c t. This form we we called we call this form as mm, parametric. 
parametric equation of line or parametric form of this line. That's the parametric equation. And if we get rid of the parameter t, we, we got uh, x minus x0. We got rid of get rid of this one, that's xt minus x0 over a is t, and y minus y0 over b is t, and z equals z0 over c is t. Uh, of course, we uh, don't allow a, b, c, b0. So a, b, c should uh, learn 0. We call this form as a symmetric Symmetric equation or standard. Some some textbook uh, call this as standard form or standard equation of the line. That's the line and the equation of lines. There have mm, they have three forms. The parametric, the vector form, and the symmetric form. Now next, uh, look for some examples. The first one, find parametric parametric and uh, symmetric equation of line. through two points, through two points, negative 2, 0, 4, oh, uh, through this point and passing and uh, parallel, and parallel to V equals 2i plus 4j minus 2k. Um, by the parametric equation, we know that x equals x0 plus at, y equals y0 plus bt, z equals z0 plus ct. Now, the A, B, C, that is V equals A, B, C, that is 2, 4, negative 2. So the parametric equation is X equals uh, the X, X0, Y0, Z0 is here. That's the, the, the coordinate of this, of this point. So x equals negative 2 plus the a is 2, that, that is 2t. Two y is uh, 0. The y is 0. Uh, y is 0 is 0. So y equals 4t and z equals 4 minus 2t. That's the parametric equation. as a parametric equation. And if we get rid of the param parameter t, we got uh, the sym symmetric equation. Because ABC uh, all a, b, c are non-zero. So the symmetric equation is x plus 2 over 2 equals y over 4 equals z minus 4 over negative 2. 
that's uh, that's symmetric equation. As the uh, uh, this problem give uh, give us the point and the direction. And the second uh, give give us two points. Find the fir the first part is find parametric and uh, symmetry uh, symmetric equation of line. that passing through two points passing through a negative three two negative three and as p as and q equals one one negative four Uh, the second part is at what point the line does the line intersect the x or y plane intersect the x or y plane Of course, we know that the uh, the p the vector p q uh, is the direction direction vector of the line p q that is one one minus negative four minus negative three two negative three that is four uh, negative one negative one that's the uh, direction this is direction vector this is the di direction uh, vector so the parametric equation can take any point of p or q so the parametric we can take the p as the point and so uh, x equals uh, take p as a point take p as a point so the equation should uh, should be x equals negative negative 3 plus 4t the a is 4 b is negative 1 c is negative 1 y is 2 uh, minus t z is negative 3 minus t this is the parametric parametric equation of course we can take q as this point and um, if take q as the point we got a, a little different uh, equation That is x equals 1 plus 4t, y equals 1 minus t, and then z equals negative 4 minus t. So the parametric equation is not unique. And uh, this parametric equation, and then the a symmetric equation is x plus 3 over 4 equals y minus 2 over negative 1 and z plus 3 over negative 1 or use q as point as x minus 1 over 
4 equals y minus 1 over negative 1 and equals z plus 4 over negative 1. That's the first part. And the second part, x o y plane that is that is z equals zero and we put the z equals zero into the symmetric equation and into the symmetric equation we can uh, get as a coordinate of x and y uh, we use the first uh, uh, the first one that is x plus 3 over 4 equals y minus 2 over negative 1 z equals 0 that is 3 over negative 1 we take the y minus 2 over negative 1 equals 3 over negative 1 that is y minus 2 equals 3 so y equals 5 and uh, x plus 3 over 4 equals 3 over negative 1. So x plus 3, that's the right hand side is negative 3. So times times both sides by, by 4, that is negative 12. So x equals negative 15. So the intersect point. intersection point is negative 15, 5, and 0. Mm. That's the intersection point and uh, the, uh, the equation of lines.